Hi, Patreon family. It's Carrie. And Ruby. And you know I love to give you guys top secret entertainment. And I'm having a little get together today. And, and I have a story. What's your story? My story. I lost it. I had a tooth with. Oh, that's a really boring story. Not really into <laughs> it. Um, but today I'm making, well, I made my grandmother's famous church window cookies. Now, these are a hit at any party. And the reason they're called church windows is because they're Catholic yeah. and they look like stained glass cookies. Now, do you want to try one while we're yeah. working? Now, I thought I would give you the quick recipe because it's so easy. And you can Google church window cookies. Um, but what you do it's is cold. you do, it's supposed to be cold. You take colored marshmallows <laughs> and butter. Don't put it back. Where's the one you put back? Where's the one you put back? You just put, I cannot serve it if I don't know which one yours was. Do not twerk on my video. Oh my, do you see? Patreon. Oh, Patreon. That's $5 extra. Okay, so you take colored marshmallows and butter and you melt it in a bowl. And then you take chocolate chips and you um, melt it on a double broiler. Yeah, I already said that. No. I did. You take chocolate chips and you melt it on a double broiler. And then you take the fudge and you mix it with walnuts or the nuts of your choice i like walnuts and you mix it with colored marshmallows now my friend's allergic to coconut so i didn't make them my traditional way what i like to do typically is you mix the marshmallows and then you put it into a log i like to put it with coconut but my friend tammy's coming tonight and she's allergic to coconut so you make a log and then you freeze it overnight and then when you hold up when you cut I mean, it, they're going to taste great. When you cut the cookies, you pull your muscles. And then and then eat it. Yeah, and then you eat it. So church window cookies. I do. I do. No, no, eat it. Okay. Bye.